my father actually realized that we were next to a big jump and he said uh, that it that it would be a good opportunity to be part of that you know it of course uh, trusted me We were starting to deal with uh, customers that uh, today are our, uh, you know, uh, columns, uh, I, w I would say. A couple of Europeans uh, like Nexo and DMB, we started in those years, and also EAW, which was at the time uh, the, the, possibly the champ uh, in, the, in this industry. And I would say Montalbo, number one, and FBT. And also Outline, because uh, Guido Noselli from Outline was really a guy that gave us a lot of inputs to, to develop, uh, to develop uh, better products. He knew where a company like ours, in terms of uh, product developments, uh, uh, should go. High frequency was the key of our success uh, in the, back in the 90s. I mean, there are a couple of products which uh, Alessandro developed at the time, uh, who were really game changer, because at the time you only had uh, good quality JBL and EV, which all the industry were forced to buy, even th they were financing uh, too strong uh, uh, competitors at the time. We showed up uh, with our D75, which was not possibly as good as uh, EV or J JBL, but almost as good for a fraction of the price, and we were uh, an independent company. So. So all the industry moved, starting from EAW, I must say, uh, to BNC because of that product. And we decided to, to, to follow that, uh, that path with woofers as well. And uh, now I think that HF is, uh, is, uh, is pretty much stable, but we have an explosion of coaxials. Now almost 20% of our sales are coaxials. As you know, you have a combination of woofer and uh, uh, HF on the same unit usually using one single magnet in here, which is providing the energy for both, uh, for both uh, voice coil, for the voice coil of the woofer and the voice coil of the HF. That are extremely successful now. There is not one best moment, but definitely the best moment is when, on, when we know that one of our customers has approved, uh, <laughs> has approved the new products from us. That is always an exciting moment, even if uh, it's uh, Mr. Mr. X uh, from, uh, <laughs> from an unknown country. To see new customer and new products approved is always my best moment. I'm very hungry in that respect. We are in a position that uh, we cannot do anything else uh, than, uh, than grow. You grow. By, by doing what we're doing today, which is growing uh, between five and 10% each year, which is exceptional. This year we are, we'll definitely do our best again uh, year by far. So that is a good way to grow. We have plans to expand manufacturing. We are, we are seriously evaluating China, but even US could be an option for us. But the best thing to do is to grow by acquisition. One of the limits of our industry is that there is a lot of emotion involved because very much often the, the owner of a company is the founder of the company. So when you're talking to a own founder owner, it's, always, it's not like talking to a private equity or, or uh, you know, uh, which are normally very neutral. They see that there is enough uh, advantages in terms of uh, economicals, they'll go. Well, a founder, even if you are offering him uh, heaven, still can, can feel that uh, he will, uh, he will uh, fall in hell. <laughs> and that happened. That happened, unfortunately, with some of the things we've tried to, done, to do in the past. And for the future, so we have ideas, and definitely we're not, uh, we're not uh, retiring. Yet.